everyone, we're back again. I'm going to actually show you how to extend a class. Uh, from the previous tutorial, I showed you how to create a class. Now I'm going to actually show you how to create a class that requires the previous class to add more functionality. Um, it's great for, say, if you have a filter of variables, uh, something that filters out like names and stuff in one class, and then you want to make sure all those functions come over without having to define the class again. Uh, it's kind of a nice trick. I'll also be showing you how to use construct, and if we have time, I will be going on to uh, how to use ab abstract class. So you don't have to actually define the class into a variable every single time. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to actually be using the previous uh, tutorial uh, class that I had uh, previously, and we're going to start off by defining another class. So underneath it, I'm going to go class. We're just going to name this a help file. And then we're going to use extends. This means I'm done. This help file, this class, is going to be built on top of my previous class. So my previous class was tutorial, which is easier if I have space there. Tutorial, Doo -doo. and then we're going to do the normal, you know, open bracket, close bracket afterwards. So basically, right now, I just defined a class of help, and it, what it's doing is grabbing from its parent. So its parent in this case, which extends, would be tutorial. So tutorial is basically going into class of help. Now from there, I can actually already define a variable here. Uh, we're just going to go help file, and we're going to go new, and we're going to go help. So can I use all the functions from the previous class in this class? Yes, actually. You just go here, you can, get, you can go to help, go over, and there you go. It shows you actually the previous public uh, functions that you had before. Now, what do I want this help file to do? Well, in this case, I just want the help file to say, hey, I helped you with this number, Doop, and have the number pop up. So we're just going to make a function here. Do -do -do public function uh, help me. Do -do. We're not done to send anything there. We're just going to go return this. Do -do. Okay, here we go. Now it shows you all the functions. Now, is there anything that's missing in here? It's private. I can't call the private because the privates are only declared in the previous one. There's ways to do that, but I'm not to actually go into detail on that at the moment. I just want to kind of show you that the privates will always stay private even if you extend off of that class. So we're just going to go here. We're going to go uh, get me two numbers. And then I want to go right down here. And now I don't have to, I can define my variables anywhere. I usually define them at the top, which I'm going to do here. I can add another variable to this. We're just going to go private uh, help variable. And it's going to be helping, helping. And then we're just going to make another public function that just calls that variable uh, function help. And instead of just rewriting everything, we're just going to go right down here, copy that. And let's add text here and make that equal to false. Just kind of building on to that function I already had pre-built. And we're going to go here, and this needs to change to help. And this needs to change to help. So we just did the same thing that we did previously at, for the is visible for the help file. Now there's multiple ways that you can do this, but I'm just defining it for one function for one variable in this case. And we're just going to go down here, we're going to echo. Uh, doo -doo -doo. It's easier if I don't use this, right? Okay, help. All right. So now I get my functions here. I have my help me, which I'm going to actually call first. And we're going to echo, do another br, you know, some spacing. And then we'll echo help again. Let's get our verbal help. So we're going to get help. I'm not just anything there. I just want to get the value back from it. So let's go and see what we have here currently. All right. So even though I couldn't see the functions get second, I can still call them through its primary caretaker, which is get me two numbers. Because get me two numbers calls get me second, which is a private, but it's in the previous class that I'm extending off of. So it's able to call from anything with itself, even though it's private, and I won't be able to see it in the new class I make. That's kind of a helpful way that you need to know to do in case you actually want to hide variables and you need to extend off of it and call. And I can go into more detail later on, but I just kind of wanted to show you that. Next thing, I did help. This is the same functionality. Just got my variable helping. Now, I talked about a construct. By building a construct, you can automatically predefine variables that you want to send to it so it auto updates. 
So we're going to build a construct in this one. The, pre the primary doesn't have a construct. We're not, don't worry about that at the moment. We're going to go here and build a construct. So we're going to go function, underline, underline, con, uh, I think I clicked it three times, give me a second. Underline, underline, construct. And you can set public in front of it if you want to just make sure. Don't set it to private or it will never work. <laughs> I believe it actually throws you an error. I haven't done it in a long time. We'll see if it gives you me an error after I do this first. So I get my contract. Now what do I want it to? I want it to actually send a variable. So we're going to go if is set. Uh, we're going to go help text. Do -do -do. Actually, I don't have to do if it's set because I need to go and make sure it's not empty. If help text is not empty, so we need to go, since empty will automatically return true if it's empty, we need to go exclamation. So if it's not empty, false becomes true and true becomes false. A little bit confusing there. <laughs> and we're going to actually define our private, redefine our private variable here. So we're going to go this help is equal to t uh, help text. And as you can tell, I have nothing that's defined as help text, so I needed to find that up here. Help text equals to doop. Now I want to do one more. I want to actually change the variable in the other class that I have too. So what do we have that? We have that named as is visible. So let me crack my arm here. Sorry about that. So we need to go is visible. So visible text equals to doot. Let's just do the same thing we did for our help text. So I'm just going to copy this and we'll just change out the variables. Do -do. And that won't be help. It's going to be is visible. So what are we doing right here is this is like a predefined send these values, change them. Now down here on the echo, I don't have anything for uh, is visible. So we'll actually make that function here. Do -do. Or call that function is visible. So now I have my help main, which I'm just going to call it just to show you the new function. Uh, help, which is going to call from the variable, or call the function, which will call from the variable. And then I have is visible. And we just have to verify these names are correct. Help, help. Okay. So if I go refresh here, nothing's changed. It still says helping and should not be, which was from our previous uh, tutorial and how I had it set up. Now, I just set up a construct. It didn't do anything. That's because I didn't send anything to it. I made sure they didn't error out by not having the variables in it by setting equal to blank or equal to false or equal to something. In this case, I added it to blank string, nothing. There's nothing in it. So let's actually send something. Let's go helping away now. We'll make it say helping away. We'll just pass one variable for right the same. And we can go refresh. Now it says helping away. So help just become helping away just from us constructing it. And storing these variables and constructing is like uh, very helpful, especially if you want to store a variable from somebody. Uh, say if you had details, store it into that variable and then call that variable later on down your pages. And I'll go into that. That will deal with including and globals. So now I want to change the second one. Now there's two ways I can change the second one. I can leave the text here saying helping away if I want to keep helping away there. Or I can go this and then end that. And in this case, Dreamweaver kind of fights me. But I made a blank, so it doesn't change it. Refresh. Oh, it didn't change my second one. Why did it not change my second one? That's because that is private. That's what I did wrong here. I need to call this variable and send that text to it. So it would be doot. You need to be aware of that, because that actually comes in to be an issue. <laughs> As you can tell, I tried changing a variable that was private. I thought I had access to it. Did not have access to it. I had actually called the function that has access to that variable. Now if I refresh again, now it changed it. So it changed it on load. And that's just some of the ways I can change both. This one to say, yay, help. And I'm just going to refresh this. Oop, yay, help. So what I just showed you here is how to extend off a of primary class. In this case, I used help as my secondary, so my primary was tutorial, which I expanded on. Then I showed you how to call the functions from uh, the previous one that are actually currently public. Now, you have to always call the public if you want to be able to get to the private, usually. Um, there's ways around it, but I'm not going to get into any details on that. That's a little bit more in-depth. 
And then next, I kind of showed you that you can actually do a construct, which you send your variables primary when you dis when you load up your class. So then your your details are already stored. So instead of having to run another function that then stores all your data for you, um, I think that's actually all I'm done covering this case for you. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below, uh, send me a like, or subscribe, and send me a message. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed this. Hey, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, please leave a comment or uh, like below. Um, if you want to keep up with all activities on the channel, click subscribe. And if you would like to watch another video, there's some videos listed down below here. And thanks for watching.